Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is my last Anime Expo video for now until next year Anime Expo. I initially had trouble getting my Anime Expo vlog going like I had it all ready like all ready to go and then when I tried saving it it was being weird with the saving and then once I got it saved it was being weird with uploading so I just gave up on my whole vlog sadly. Hopefully fingers crossed knock on wood whatever hopefully when i go next year next year's vlog will be better and i won't have any issues with next year's vlog because i do want to vlog it this as you can tell is my anime expo haul oh i don't know if you heard that <laughs> my wrist got just now this is my anime expo haul also at this point i'm hoping that you've all have heard the news that there's going to be an Anime Expo Ontario on November 12th and 13th, I believe. I'm not going to that one just because one Anime Expo per year is enough, but it almost feels like a money move, like a money grab for Anime Expo and the company owning AX SPJA, I think is the acronym. But like, it feels like a money move because they missed out on so much potential money from the two years that they couldn't hold AX um, in 2020 and then 2021. They sort of lost a lot of money from not being able to host those two years. So hosting two in one year is like, okay, money grab. But at the same time, I feel like, I don't even know how to address it. Like, I feel like having it be in the same state is such a stupid move within the same year if they were having it like let's say on the east coast or in the midwest that would make more sense or even up in canada like it would make more sense to have a second anime expo in the midwest or on the east coast rather than have it be in california again just because it's like give california a break from anime expo until the summer anime expo 2023 And on that note, if you guys want me to talk about my personal experience at this past Anime Expo over July 4th weekend, please comment down below on this video. With all that said, let's get into my merchandise. So I do have a little bit of an order to this. I'm going to start off with the items I bought in the exhibit hall. And then I'm going to move on to the artist alley. And then I'm going to move to the entertainment hall, which is one. First are these two stickers. I got Kazuo Mishido from Masquerade Kiss and Shunichiro Tachibana from Irresistible Mistakes. Both of these are voltage dating sim games. They are on the Love 365 app. The next two things are these two Kazuo Mishido pins. You can tell who my favorite is from Masquerade Kiss. And then next up from the exhibit hall is this bunny. I think it's more of a decorative purse rather than a purse purse. Um, just because, okay, so I just unzipped it, um, and there's not a lot of space. I think it's more of a decorative purse rather than, like, a functional purse. And then last up for the exhibit haul, this was the thing that I was looking for the most on day two especially. Um, this is a figurine. Okay, so before I continue, now that I'm thinking about it and talking about it a little bit, for the artist alley at least, I'm going to mention each and every item that I get that I got from the artist alley and mention the artist and any items that I didn't pay attention sadly to the artist for I will put question marks next to those items and if you guys could look at the description and if you guys could look through the description any items that I have here where an artist isn't mentioned if you know who the, that artist is please mention it in a comment down below and I will try to update the description whenever I get a comment like that. Okay, next up is my Artist Alley merchandise. This is an absolutely lovely painting of Princess Tiana from Princess and the Frog. It's one of my favorite movies. So I'm absolutely in love with this. And I was Charlotte LaBeouf on day one. Next up is this um, fairy in a teacup 
prints painting and then from the same artist i got this the last unicorn prints so next up is this hilda prints which i absolutely love next up is this kiki and tombow prints i i love kiki's lovery service so next up is this princess mononoke gold foil prints and then the second one i got for myself is this kiki's delivery service one and then i got this little bunny sister sticker i think this was the artist alley but i don't quite remember it may have been the exhibit hall my last five things from the artist alley first up this jareth and sarah keychain all these keychains these five keychains i got are all from the same artist i do not remember who i just remember that i got my um queen bee print from this artist here one second so this queen bee prints buzz on she i'm pretty sure it says she also does a chat noir one for this and a 